let us read the let me see chapter 24 all right let me read in mandarin first the 二十四章骑者不利跨者不行自见者不明自视者不张自罚者无功自惊者不长其在道也曰于时罪行物或恶之故有道者不处 Right Now This passage Talk about certain Thing Where If you want to follow the Tao You Have to do certain things Or behave in a certain way Right Or Some of this situation is bad for you Right So for example uh, when he say that 骑者不利, right? That means the guy stood very straight up. He actually shouldn't um, be straight up because he may be knocked down, you know? So the next thing is 跨着不行, that means if you stretch your leg too far out, you know, you may not last that long because you need more energy, you, 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 you are not going according to what your body could do, right? So, there's a way to look at it. So, if you overstretch yourself, then it's very difficult to walk for long, right? If you stand up for very long, I mean, how long can you stand, right? So, sometimes you need to sit down, right? So, the person who keep on standing, one day may fall, right? So that's why he's saying, right? You cannot constantly do the same thing over and over again and expect to keep doing it because you can't last that long, right? And then he said that somebody who always hold on to his own opinion will not be clarified, you know, because he never questioned himself. Or Sometimes, other people' um, views may not be right, but you have to listen to their view to understand how they feel. Because sometimes it's not right and wrong; it's how he feel, right? So sometimes you cannot just talk about right or wrong, but you have to understand the emotion of other people, right? So sometimes they are just not listening, or you are not listening. No, it could be so you have to understand what exactly is happening sometimes it's not just about the reason itself but it's just somebody who don't believe in your reason right he doesn't have faith in you maybe you know so there are many reasons that something happened so that one must always find that to understand something is to find that all the reasons keep on searching for it keep on searching what that little bit that can make you better right so if you say you want to take photography so how to improve yourself every now and then you got to question yourself by looking at your own photographic images by questioning how can I improve and if every day you improve a little bit 365 days there's a lot of improvement and it's a big leap right if every day you can find some small little step to take so and if you don't think that you have reached there, therefore, you can continue to find all this small little thing that you can make it a big step and you are you will be better and better. But if you still want to improve, is to keep on seeking, right? So do not think that that is the only way then you can go on further, right? So if you always think that you are right, you are without floor then you cannot find more floor right so if you have done something good do not claim that you have done something good because what is good in other people's eye may not be what is good in your own opinion right there are a lot of people think that they have worked very hard you know 
and they think that other people have not worked very hard. So what happened? They think they should deserve more. But bosses are not going to give him more because the boss have other things to weigh, right? So everybody weighs things differently. So what you think is fair may not be fair in the eyes of the boss. He has another weighing machine. So if you claim the wrong thing, then there's a slight problem there because everybody have their own opinion who who succeeded, right? Who make it happen, right? So you may think that you are the one, but from your perspective only, right? So, so don't claim it that you are the one. So if you, right, are quiet, if you are um, not too loud, uh, then you can last long, right? So this is the way of the Tao. And the other thing about the way of the Tao is that, you know, sometimes you also have to avoid certain things. So if the thing is bad, like bad food, you know, don't eat. You don't eat a bad food, you obviously will get stomach ache, right? So in other words, if you associate with bad stuff, you will turn bad, right? So to practice Tao is to follow the path of the good or the thing that is alive and not dead, right? If you want to have good health, obviously you must eat food that is grown in abundance of light, abundance of water or, 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 or grown in a very good environment. Right, food that is grown in a bad environment may not actually suit you very well unless you are born to eat those things. Right? So the important thing is we are human, so we eat a certain type of food. But if you are like the perhaps the monitor lizard, you know, a good food for them is to clean up the dead corpse, right? They can eat them up. So it all depends on your potential and what you exactly are. Right, so the important thing is there are certain things that if you want to practice a Tao, there are certain things that you don't do and there are certain things that you don't want to be there. So what is those things? You've got to figure out for yourself, right? Because you need to know yourself to be yourself. So there's one practice to do is to understand yourself, what you can eat and it doesn't cause you problem. And what you can eat and benefit yourself. It is not going to be the same for everyone, right? So that's something that we have to understand, right? So this is chapter 24.